What's happening? It's B-Side today in my hands. A Reverend. Yep, this is a Reverend Charger 290, two P90 pickups. We're gonna check this bad boy out and see if this is uh, the guitar you should buy for a thousand bucks. So one of the really interesting things that's happened with the guitar market over the last, say, decade or so, is a thousand dollars can get you a lot of guitar. And that's true with almost any brand right now. So anything from Reverend or the, the companies that are making stuff overseas, uh, Ibanez, all those guys, all the way to some of the American-made brands. So Fender and Gibson both have kind of $1,000 price point guitars. So I really, when I was able to get my hands on this, and I really like the look of the Reverend stuff. I checked them out at the NAMM show, and they just look super cool, um, which is probably... That's who this guitar is for. If you're looking for something that's out of the ordinary, out of the mainstream, out of the Gibson Fender stream, then this is probably the guitar for you. Uh, and this guitar uh, online is between $900 and $1,000. I'll put links to all of this in the description below. I'll also put a link to Music Villa, my favorite guitar shop. Uh, and they also are a Reverend dealer, so they can get you uh, one of these also. But... I love P90s. I'm a huge P90 fan. I got P90s on the Music Man up on the wall back there. I got P90s on an Albert Lee over here. I have actually the Gibson Les Paul Special with P90s on its way to me, and I'm gonna do a comparison with these two because they're both guitars and about the $1,000 price point with the P90s. So let's talk about what Reverend is doing, and then we're gonna get some tones. So what Reverend is doing is they're trying to put some higher-end features in a guitar in that thousand dollar price point to try to set themselves apart from what other companies specifically u.s brand companies are putting out for that same thousand dollars so for example on this guitar this is called mulberry mist it's a super cool color it's kind of like a metallic purple um, you have the two p90s you have the roasted maple neck this has the Palfero fretboard. I wish it didn't have the Palfero fretboard. Um, I wish it was just the roasted. In some colors, they actually just do the roasted maple. But you also get locking tuners uh, with this guitar. And it has a bass contour knob, which kind of separates it. So you get the, the three-way switch uh, for the pickups. You get the volume, you get the tone, and then you get a bass contour. So it really does have a lot of tonal variety in it. You know, if you go to the website, they're gonna tell you a ton of features, even the feature that it has a custom input jack with the flying Reverend wings on it. That's a, that's worth the price of admission right there, isn't it? Um, no, but, but seriously, um, it's a really cool guitar, but it's not for everybody. And I'll say what they're doing is they're having the guitars made overseas, they're bringing them to the US, and they're all getting hand set up and hand inspected in the US. And then on the back of the headstock, the person who did that gives it the serial number, and they sign the back of the headstock. So they're trying to find this best of both worlds kind of thing. And I think they're doing a pretty good job. Now, to be honest, I was hoping for a little bit more. I saw there were a couple finish flaws this one had, including an issue with the binding right here in the neck pocket. Um, is that a deal breaker? No. Um, but, you know, for kind of what they're kind of going after. I would think because it's like hand inspected in the US, all that stuff, things like that wouldn't get through. But hey, that's just my own opinion. Let's get some tones. I'll stop talking about it now. <laughs> you guys, you can be the judge. Um, at the end of the day, it's a cool guitar. Uh, this is going to be through an AC style amp. Let's go to the neck pickup. <laughs> contour knob. Let's see what that thing does. So you can hear the difference. I will say my one complaint about this knob is like 90% of what it's supposed to do happens in the first like 20% of turning the knob and then it kind of 
like right there, it's kind of all in. And I just turned it the rest, I don't know. I mean, it's cool, I guess. I don't know if I ever see myself using it personally. Um, it's there if you like it. How about that? <laughs> You know, let's put some dirt on it and see what it sounds like with that. I have a Wampler Tumnus over here that I'll kick on, and we'll be we're back in the uh, neck position. Yep. to the bridge position. drive off, take that tumness off. And if we jump back up to the neck position, you can see you can get this great. So there you have it, the Reverend Charger 290. It really is a cool guitar. The big question is actually not, is it a cool guitar? Does it look cool? Is it awesome? All those things. It's for $1,000, is it the guitar for you? Or $900, is it the guitar for you? That price point is so saturated um, with guitars that it really can become a challenge. You know, when you have kind of in your, when you're under the $500 price point, there's a couple that really stand out and when you're kind of past the 1,000 into the 1,500, 2,000, there's a couple that stand out. But in that, in that 900 to 11, 1,200 range, there's a lot of competition there. So if you're into the shape of this, if you kind of like the offset kind of look, you want something a little bit different, you're gonna show up to your friend's house and play, and you don't just want a Fender Stratocaster, or you don't want you know a Les Paul style guitar, you want something that's a little bit different, you kind of dug the Jazz Master kind of thing maybe, um, but want what arguably the same quality, maybe even a little bit higher quality than some of the kind of low-end American stuff. Because, you know, low-end American-made stuff, there's so many hours and man hours you can put into a guitar. And then you kind of get into the higher-end overseas stuff. And so they're, they're definitely, you know, for this price point in an American-made guitar, you're not going to get the locking tuners. Um, you're most likely not going to get the roasted neck. You're not gonna, there's some features on here you're definitely not going to get. So... Um, it definitely, you have my blessing to go buy it if you like it. If this guitar, if, you, if you're trying to watch this video figuring out, is this a cool guitar to buy? It is a cool guitar to buy. It sounds good. It feels good. It plays good. I will say, in addition, the frets are great on this one that I have. Um, I've gotten some American <laughs> made stuff, uh, and not just Gibson. I mean, other brands that are notorious, that have um, reputations for great frets. And uh, these ones are super smooth. They're every single one is finished. And that's what I look for uh, mainly in a guitar because if the frets are done well, that means there's an attention to detail. That, that can't just um, be done quickly. There does take some time to do that. So uh, all these frets feel super good. There's no sharp edges, no jags, nothing like that. So the Reverend Charger 290, let me know in the description what you think about this guitar. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, and if you've played one, what you like and don't like about it.
And for more gear reviews, news, and commentary, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm B-Side, and we'll catch you next time.